Good morning, Barrow Buddies. This is the week of February 8th through February 14th. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here's a joke for you. How do you throw a party in space? You plan it. Let's check in with our special reporters to learn about this week in history and some tips on being a Barrow Buddy. This week in history. On February 9th, 1971, pitcher Leroy Satchel Page was nominated to the Baseball Hall of Fame. He was the first player to be nominated from the Negro League. On February 11th, 1990, Nelson Mandela was released from prison after spending 27 years there. He was the leader of the movement that wanted to end South African apartheid. Chinese New Year is the day that starts a new lunar year. 2021 is the year of the ox and begins on February 12th. That's this Friday. There are many traditions that people may have for Chinese New Year. People clean and decorate their homes before Chinese New Year. They hope a clean house will bring them good luck. People hang up red banners with good luck wishes. People say goodbye to the old year on New Year's Eve by sealing the doors of their homes with strips of red paper to keep out bad luck. They also have a feast. At midnight, fireworks welcome the new year. On New Year's Day, the door seals are broken. In the United States, the Golden Dragon Parade is held. The New Year celebration lasts 15 days. In China, a lantern festival ends the celebration. We have several digital books and articles you can read about Chinese New Year in Comics Plus, Pebble Go, Destiny, and Capstone Library. You can log into these on the Student Start page or in Clever. Happy Chinese New Year to all who celebrate. Bear Buddies are brave. This week, we're focusing on the letter B. B stands for bold. One way you can be bold is keeping your camera on for the whole day. And here's Dr. Sabatini with the principal's update. Good morning, Barrow Buddies. I hope you're ready for a great week ahead. I'm always gonna start talking about attendance. We want you here every day at school so you can participate in all the lessons and your morning meetings and learn all the things that you need to learn when you're um, coming to virtual school. We have three classes that had great attendance last week, Ms. Clark's class in kindergarten, Ms. Leggett's class in third grade, and Ms. Olin's class in fifth grade. They all had multiple days of perfect attendance last week. So great job, keep it up. We wanna add more classrooms to our list of perfect attendance, please, please. We also this week have an uh, opportunity for our fourth graders to come pick up learning supplies that you're going to need. So fourth graders, make sure that you have a time this week to come pick up your new math workbooks and some dry erase boards and other things that you're going to need for virtual learning. We're going to be available during the school day and afternoon on Tuesday. So your teachers in the, sent that information out um, and we hope to see you to pick up your materials. This week is also almost Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is on the weekend. Um, and we're gonna show some Valentine love to our teachers on Friday. So the teacher appreciation event, and we're asking our students and families to make a nice Valentine card for their teacher and drop it off in the front parking lot. We have a um, nice little crate that's available that you can just drive by and drop it off. So. Um, if that's something that you want to do and work on, we would love to have that extra appreciation for our teachers. And then finally, um, to start our shout outs, I want to give a shout out to all the students and staff who participated in Ms. McLehan's Flipgrid Appreciation for National School Counseling Week. I think we had over 80 videos and they were so wonderful and kind and just um, the comments were super sweet from Ms. McLehan and, and she loved it a lot. So um, thanks to everyone for taking time to participate in that. Happy birthday to this week to these Barrow Buddies, Nevea Simmons, Chastity Hurd, Shaden Alcotti, Carlene Sampaio, Georgia McCown, and William McCallan. 
And then we have a bunch of shout outs this week. Team 119 has been doing an awesome job of being achievers by being ready to unmute and boldly share their answers at any second. Our class also wants to shout out some brave teammates, Zeph, Omar, Cooper, and Eliza. You make our class a family. The fourth graders in room 123 want to give a shout out to Addie, Court, and Jada for being extraordinarily engaged students. They participate in class and share their ideas every day. Miss Kim wants to give a shout out to the whole class on their improved participation in math. Great job, buddies. Shout out to Miss Brevard and Miss Katie's class for being so flexible and showing up to class on time every day and being engaged. You are all the best. The bowling buddies get really tired towards the end of the week, so we have been talking about finishing strong. Miss Bowling is so proud of the way her class has worked on finishing the week strong every, the week strong every week. You guys are amazing. Shout out to crew 122 for some pretty awesome engagement during independent work time last week. The crew also wants to shout out Ronnie for answering a lot of questions in the chat and showing his work. Gustavo for always being on task and raising his hand to answer questions and Luke for paying attention all the time and participating a lot. Thanks for being so engaged buddies. Have a great week. Before we leave, let's say our bear on a code together. As a bear of buddy, I promise to be fair, honest and trustworthy, even when no one is looking because that is the right thing to do. My good choices will help make Barrow excellent. We will now observe a moment of silence before we begin to focus all of our attention on thinking, learning, and working at Barrow School. Have a great day.